it's finally here. The closed circuit wind tunnel is up and running in the basement of Kerr Hall. Yesterday, the eye opener had the chance to attend a test demonstration where Tim Carroll, a student of Professor Goetz Bramsfield's aerospace class, the class credited for the creation of this very wind tunnel, spoke to us. Uh, it's a, a renovated apparatus here that we have at, at Ryerson uh, to test uh, uh, the aerodynamic uh, properties of certain uh, uh, things, be it wings or propellers or rotors. Um, Basically what a closed section test wind tunnel is, is it circulates air across this whole uh, closed section, which emulates something flying up in, up in uh, the atmosphere. Not only has Carol helped with the renovation of the wind tunnel, in fact, he's been teaching other aerospace students how they can use it. Thomas Martin, another aerospace student involved with the project, explained why the wind tunnel is an important and innovative tool for students in the field. I'd say it helps out because it allows a lot of our student teams to start testing their designs opposed to, for example, in our case, building an aircraft, flying it, and then we can predict, you know, for example, if something might go wrong. And this tunnel allows us to do propeller testing and wing testing, which for a team building an airplane is very beneficial. I'm standing right outside of the test section at the closed circuit wind tunnel. Carol says this stand right here, this test stand, can actually measure various aspects of flight performance which can be applied to models such as drones. For the eye-opener, I'm Brittany Rosen.